Hi, I'm Nanette Floyd Patterson, the Vision Manifestation Queen. I'm a licensed professional counselor and master his coach. Welcome to Vision Matter Moments. I help Christian women get free from vision blockers, get clear on the vision so they can get moving on whatever it is that God has already given them permission to do. Today, I want to talk about three reasons why hustle ain't better than flow and neither is grind. The other day, I did a Google search on the word hustle. To my surprise, 90% of the results equate hustle with success. Only a small percentage of the results even mentioned the negative impact that hustle and grind have on individuals. Don't get me wrong. I do believe in some degree of grinding and some degree of hustling but as a counselor I find it very unhealthy to grind and hustle to the point where you are not balanced in life and so when you're not balanced in these areas it's counterproductive it's counterintuitive when you are grinding and when you are a hustling. So today I want to encourage you to strive to flow. Don't strive to hustle and grind. The three reasons why hustle and grind is not better than flow is because when you hustle and grind, you jeopardize the very peace that has already been promised to us in Second Peter 1 and 2. And it says, grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. You see, some of us are using our time to only work, 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 and we are subjecting our well-being to the concept of hustling and grinding. As a counselor, I'm totally against that. The second reason is when you hustle and grind without balance, you jeopardize your relationships with the people you love the most. The third reason is when you hustle and grind without balance, you put last your well-being. Some of you know what I'm talking about. You're hustling and you're grinding. You're not eating well. You're not sleeping well. Some of you are not even getting any sleep. You think you're running on two hours of sleep is going to be healthy for you. Yes, grinding and hustling may line your pockets a little bit, but at the end of the day, it will have an unhealthy impact on you mentally and physically. So I want to encourage you to flow. Don't grind, don't hustle. Let me share with you four steps you can take to ensure that you flow. The first thing is follow the plan that God has shown you. And that's the F in flow. Follow the plan that God has shown you. Don't add to it and don't allow others to add to it. The L in flow means learn how to let go of those things that really don't matter, especially the trivial things. The O. Organize your life according to the plan that God has shown you. Organize your life according to the plan that God has shown you. And W is work only on the things related to that plan. And say no to those things that do not complement that plan. And so as you can see, when you flow you have a peace, a peace that you are doing what God called you to do. Remember, don't be a busy boss. Be a boss that is balanced. God bless.